All right, everybody, welcome back to Vanilla Swirl CTM. Um, so between the last episode and this one, some stuff happened. Nothing, no big deal. Uh, but we managed <laughs> to structure this uh, home, basically home away from home, uh, remote base. <laughs> Uh, and we we uh, crafted a bed, so we set our spawns here, so we can keep going mm -hmm. deeper into this dungeon and see Indeed. what it holds for us so far. <laughs> and Cthulhu has a water counter. bucket. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, that, that's really the important. The water bucket hopefully, of power. Hopefully that would have saved me. <laughs> right. right. I know. If, if only we would have acted on our ideas the last, like, ten times. Because we bucket. thought about it before coming in. We should have <laughs> buckets. We should have water buckets. We should have water buckets. Buckets would be nice. Yeah. So, who has one? We've got empty buckets, and so hopefully those will help us out at some point. And it looks like the redstones yep. go in both directions. So. Yeah, I peeked I over here once, and there were okay. some more oh, spawners yeah, down this spawners. way. Oh my gosh, thank you, Lava. All right, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm not setting I'll that Lava out just yet. One. Break a spawner. It looks like we're safe behind us, okay. And these were creeper right. spawners, too. And Ooh. I guess until Ooh. I get water, I'm going to go ahead and grab a... Uh, Lava bucket, just in case. There are tons oh, more spawners did I just here. just take all the lava away from you? No, it's, I already got it. Okay. Oh, yeah, you guys go ahead and uh, Obsidian water this. Or? Obsidian okay. ice, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. putting up some torches. Oh, I hear another zombie, so. Yep. I'm a little hesitant with this bucket to end up like pushing you guys off your path or something. Right. Okay, let me... Oh, there's multiple spawners here. Okay. Oh, oh. Ready? All right, oh, there's no... Oh, I'm oh, there's no lava. Heat, I think. Yeah, I'm trying I'm to with the water. Okay. Okay. One down. Ooh. He okay. dropped my nice sword. Look, or nice looking. Oh, sword, there's a hole right above here that guys could fall down mm. into. It's scary. Oh, he did drop a nice sword. Hello. I want that. Uh, uh. Yoink. Smite three. Yes. Okay. Hey. Now I'm cooking with smite three. Guy was carrying around something good ah. for killing himself. Ah. Okay. Ah. I'm gonna. Oh, lots of spawners here, too. Not as well okay. lit, either. Oh, and something special. I see lapis blocks up ahead. I do, too. That looks oh, like a wool box type good. of thing. And, oh okay, my. there's there's a water oh source my. here. I'm going to throw down my lava. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick up the water source. Nice. All oh, right. okay, it looks it's like a, a safe spawner. Over here. <laughs> there's a spawner here of uh, mm -hmm. uh, skeletons with enchanted bows. <laughs> Broke <Ooh>. it. <laughs> but, uh... They ain't messing around. Nee. Hey, look at this. Nee. We got a chest in here. Oh, man, we were so close before. This oh, looks like cool. something. It's got one of those new glowy sticks up above. Endrod, I believe, is what that's Endrod. called. Endrod. <laughs> a green? Oh, oh, cool. It's got a chest with loot in it already. And the That is so block. cool. All right, go nice. for it. Oh, all right. You don't have to tell me twice. Then you can have <laughs> the block if you want. Yeah, I just got so the block. It says green beacon cave loot. Place this chest and open it for more loot. So oh my gosh. bam! Wow! Thanks. Whoa! Woo diamond gear. Tons oh, of iron. That gold and iron. And there's another loot finding oh, kit. Place this chest and open it for more loot. <laughs> and there's two it's other loot oh on gosh. loot on loot. <laughs> <laughs> A loot finding kit. Yeah. Interesting. What does this have for us? And then there's two dungeon loots. No way. I Check this one out to carry back. Check this bonus loot, loot finder. Out. Proximity what? detector. That what? is awesome. Hold me to detect loot. What? And okay, there's that's, way there's more stuff here. here too. Okay, but we put down any more chests. <laughs> yes, I stopped. We might want to take the chests back home and put them down when we get back home because that's there's a lot true. of stuff oh. here. We're gonna trouble carrying all this. That's a very good point. Oops. There's another one here. There's a saddle and horse armor. Take that one, Brian. You can take okay. that one. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Um, I'll take what's in this dungeon loot, which I can tell you is blast protection oh, two book, okay. feather falling I one, projectile protection here. three, sharpness one, knockback two, silk touch, <laughs> silk touch, fortune one, power two, punch one, punch one, and then I, bunch of I anvils. I so excited by all this stuff. I didn't even think, oh, we're going to have way too much loot once we put these boxes <laughs> yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a book in here after Green Beacon Oops. Cave. And it looks like you were looking at a book from the loot finding. Yeah, it's yeah. eight pages. You guys want me to, to read this off? Yeah. Um, sure. All right. This amazing device can detect nearby bonus loot boxes hidden throughout the surface of the world. When the bonus glass proximity detector is held, it will suggest how close you are to a nearby loot box. 
If no boxes are anywhere nearby, it will display cold. If you get about 120 blocks, it'll say warm and the pitch rises. 60 Whoa. blocks is very warm. 30 blocks is hot and the pitch is the highest. But note, the device detects only bonus surface boxes that have not been looted of the stained glass bonus monument item. Interesting. Wow. Uh, detects only boxes containing stained glass blocks with a color that does not currently appear in the top half of the bonus monument chest. Wow. And uh, looks like that is about the gist of it. That's All really right. cool. That okay, is really so you awesome. Could, you could keep your, your blocks out of the bonus monument then if you wanted to keep finding more and more loot chests, I assume. Right. Or huh. once you place them in, does it get registered as found and then it gets off of the the table? Or is it just checking that chest for whatever block is in it? So the Something proximity like detector is just checking whatever is currently in the chest. Okay, cool. Each time we actually put one in there, it records it as our score towards getting all 16 colors. Okay. Oh. Or at least I assume that's what happens based on what, <laughs> what you just read. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, I have my inventory just about completely full. I'll take the rest all of right. stuff from here. I, I have a bunch of chests, so I'll just break this in. Like it. Okay. Um, so we should probably head back. Um, pick Rikaz, up. Do you have a water bucket yet? I do not have water yet. Cthulhu and I. I have a let's make a uh, infinite source. Infinite oh, source. Yeah. So he can fill. Very up. good idea. Look at and this guy. Like then this I will feel like none of us are likely to fall in a lava and die. Somehow there you go. Back. Right. <laughs> It, we were bound um, to fall in lava because not all of us had it. We know that. <laughs> and yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, like two episodes ago in this episode. And yeah. like almost yeah. every episode, I think, we brought it yeah. up. I think this is so a dead there, end. There was another uh, path we could have checked out, a redstone path. We yeah, probably give us us an emerald on the way back. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, yeah, we could probably... That's the worst that could happen. Oh, no. Nah, it doesn't have more lava. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, yep, there's definitely a loot chest back here. Oh, there's a spider spawner. Uh, spider just spawned Ooh. here. Um, well, I'll go hang out with the loot. I'll let you guys all deal right, with the mobs. Alright, here's a spider spawner. Uh, Oops. I don't have Bane of Arthropods <laughs> anymore. <laughs> oh, did you lose the axe? I think so. I, oh, I have no. an iron axe that I picked at home, but uh, I didn't enchant it. Oh, okay. Alright, it looked like it was just the one spawner up here. And this is just all normal right. caves, it yeah, looks like. it just looks like more normal caves. Oh, there, there some there's some gold. Here, and gold. All right. And did you say you already got the chest? What was the chest? Uh, it was just some more emeralds. Three emeralds. I see. Okay. I shouldn't say just some more because I don't know how valuable they are just yet. They could be amazing. Oh, the... Uh, what was it? The player upgrades or whatever it was? Well, there's going to be some kind of shopkeeper eventually or yeah. something like that. That was hinted at. That I'm sure Brian knows nothing about. Nothing. <laughs> oh, is, is this a dead end? Yeah, it is. Yep, just a little bit of gold here and then I'm going to be you back. into the dead end. Uh, well, I think we're probably done in this cave then for the most part. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. I'm going to regroup kind of at our little temporary base, but I think we could probably mm -hmm. yeah, go off camera and cart all the stuff back home and let's go from there. I would be inclined to agree. I like that idea. All right, all right. we'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, he dropped the all bucket. Right. How convenient. No. <laughs> oh, late for that. I looked at somebody. I looked at somebody. Oh no. Ooh, ooh. I'm, I'm He's helping. Gonna wreck you. Oh, oh, shield. shield. Oh, you oh, have more than one. Doing work. Still hurting me though. Oh, he's still hurting me. No, no. I'm like trying this. to hit him. Oh, oh, oh we just killed him. Oh I my gosh. I should have put my water down. What was I doing? Oh gosh. Ah. Why? <laughs> I was the only too. Iron Man left. Oh. All right, well, we have regrouped. Um, I got here a lot quicker than these guys did. <laughs> yeah, our, for some reason, we're slow pokes. Right. <laughs> um, I, I know I have it in my footage, at least, on our way back. Apparently, I looked at an Enderman, and panicked, <laughs> didn't handle it well, didn't use my water bucket, and these guys didn't kill him off and save me in time. <laughs> they waited until you died. <laughs> it yep. means all three of us have uh, one death, and so over on the right it says one one one, and it's one uh, one one. Uh, like uh, it was it was on purpose. <laughs> Cthulhu did it, thinking of that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For complete.
completion <laughs> sake. Yep, Lorgon uh, so 111. That, that happened. We Lost spent a bit of time, values. yeah, organizing the inventory since we've been back. And we have yeah. a few things now that we kind of need to do. And so, Cthulhu, yep. I think you were holding oh, very important yeah. or two. So I had this amazing bonus glass proximity detector. Right now, everything is cold. Um, I, I kind of couldn't wait, so while these guys were coming back still, I was following it around, and it went from, like, warm to very warm, and then over here it was getting hot, and I think right over, yeah, right over here, there was this little piece of glass exposed. I always thought underneath. that was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I actually saw the ice over here, too, and I oh, really? didn't, yeah, look any more closely. Yep, so it's there empty. was a, I think, a brown piece of glass in oh, there, okay. and some of the loot, and then as soon as I took it out, it everything went cold. So, Sir Kaz, I'm going to toss that to you, since I'm sure Brian already knows how it works. <laughs> My viewers here. don't know how it works, so I want to Oh, that's it. true. <laughs> okay, cold. Cold everywhere. So, and one thing we could do, we could take the, the blocks out of the monument chest to free up some possible chests to find, right? If I understand things correctly. Right. Right now, it'll only be detecting chests that are uh, contain glass colors that aren't that we don't in the have. Monument. Right. Got okay. Five so colors in there right now or something? Uh, yes. So I took every or all of them out that we had placed in. Is it uh, warming up for you at all? Not yet. I'm warm. Oh, hey, there you go. The going one direction. Still warm. Uh. Do you guys hear the the knocking, like the the tone, or no? Just me. Uh, it's only the person who's holding it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you're gonna have it to says, go out beyond the the barrier. It says warm still, but it could be this way too. I don't know. Oh, very warm. Hello. Hey. I see. Okay, so there are Slower. loot chests out beyond the. Oh, it speeds then. up when, the closer you are. I think. Was that possible? <laughs> this is such a cool little game. <laughs> it really is. It's like a scavenger hunt. Hot. Exactly. Oh, and oh, a scavenger hunt to... with death. <laughs> there he is. I've got smite sword to look out. Ha -ha. Be... Take that. There is a beacon. Oh, there's a, oh, yeah, wow. there's a green beacon right over here. Really nearby. We scoured the entire half of the earth and grief. Still there's says one. hot. Very warm, hot. so it's back. Hot. Okay. I'm gonna need your backup killing these uh mm. Is there a level oh right here? Oh, there you go. Okay, hold on, keep There's for common. Yeah. There's nothing higher yeah. than hot, right? <laughs> There's oh. nothing higher than hot, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing, nothing hotter than hot. So before right, we can break I hold it, it before you yeah, 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 the yeah. yeah. And if you go over here you'll it. you'll see the transition from warm to, to hot. Okay. So, so let's see. And, uh, oh yeah, okay. There's so a certain hot. There's a certain limit on the blocks, right? Yeah, now it? it says very warm when I'm just over here. And now it There's says a... hot. Rich, you got a hold Wait. still. And then if I go ahead and I loot this chest. Now it's back down to warm. So apparently oh, there's nice. another one that's not too, too far away. Neat. Do we have any nice goodies in there? Um, there was an enchanted book with knockback two and some emeralds and some blocks. Okay. Standard loot fair. That's pretty cool. Nice. So now I think the last order of business we have is to place that uh, that monument. The block. monument block that we earned. <laughs> we right. earned with a death each. Did you guys go back? Yeah, we you had a yeah. Oh, I'm on my oh. way, yeah. I almost. Are you okay? Fell. Cthulhu, yeah, get inside almost... the thingy. Oh, yep, yep. I'm. Thank in, you. You'll save us all. <laughs> I'm in the thingy. <laughs> I'm here. Officially, that's the thing. <laughs> oh, I should eat some food. Lest I die. There we go. I saved you, Sir Kaz. Thank you. <laughs> so kind of you. <laughs> uh, the Cthulhu, oh, Cthulhu is hopping over there. You missed it. There's like a, a disjointed path of ice across the way. That oh, it's one block too far for a jump. Oh, I did the same exact thing. For a yeah, non-parkour master. It, it feels like it's achievable, but then you do it, it's like... Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, oh, actually, apparently, actually. I haven't actually like tested this myself. Apparently, you can jump a little bit higher now in 1.9 than you could in 
Really? Huh. It's like one and a quarter blocks versus one and an eighth block or something. Interesting. So with ice and sprinting, that's actually probably speeds up your It velocity. might actually be. Yeah, I haven't actually done any tests, but it seems plausible based on what I've heard. We will wait for your science experiments, Dr. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, right. I got. I, there was brown stained glass in that one, which okay, I guess we already had that yeah. right because we found the other under ice chest. Yeah, I got some nice golden leggings from a uh, zombie projectile protection four and unbreaking Ooh, three. Wow! Wow! Oh. That I'd say that's a hold on to kind of pair of pants. I know. So Cthulhu, yes, uh, you'll have to do the honors. Oh, I, I will take said honors. Monument block and stone brick. Boom. Yay. Nice. You've what placed one of three objective blocks so far. Hooray. Woohoo. And we have a third a of the map is done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, in a yeah, chest of place. A, a loot chase. A loot chest. Did we loot it? I don't remember. No, we already looted that one. I okay, okay. we were organizing the inventory when I had to get that. Good idea. Alright, so who's got the book at this point? Someone does, right? Uh, you? Not it's not in my ender chest. I don't think it's I ever have my ender chest either. Enough. Oh, it's in my ender chest. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> this has happened I before. Back. <laughs> right. All right. This book is authored by Lorgon 111, oh. and it is entitled Two After Green Beacon Cave. Oh, nice. And it reads If you feel protected enough, look for one of the red beacons. Mm. Conquer a surface area filled with cobwebs to earn the second monument block and some great loot. Oh, a mm. surface area. Interesting. And yeah, the red beacon. We we, we saw, saw that. one. That's right yeah. next to Spawner Mountain. All right. Do we want to go Ooh. straight to that one or try the green one again? Because there's another green one we just saw. That's true. We yeah, there's another up a green little one. more. Yeah, we've got the loot finder kit. I mean, we have a lot of choices now. Right. Yeah. I think it wouldn't hurt since we're still using a lot of gold gear. We could definitely power up, maybe get some more diamond gear as loot. Sure. Yep. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a decent idea. I wonder when that's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, funny you should mention that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys. See ya.